what's up what's going on pisces welcome back to the channel so before we get into today's reading i just want to give a quick shout out to nail reserve my partner for today's video i am currently wearing nail reserves nail polish in electric red okay and y'all it's popping it's look how shiny it is okay um this is just two coats you can always go heavier on the coats but uh you know nail reserve is a vegan and cruelty free nail polish company and y'all i really like this nail polish i actually stopped wear wearing gel polishes for a while because of all of the chemicals and such but um with this polish here nail reserve it actually smells really good like it has a very pleasant smell i don't have any like headaches from using it um, because of the chemicals and you know when i'm using the led light to cure the polish i always um wear protective gloves up my arm just to make sure that i don't get any extra you know uv exposure so you guys if you're interested in giving nail reserve a shot you should check out my discount code below and you can get 50% off their polishes. Yes, that's half off their polishes, y'all. I got like five different colors. So y'all gonna see my nails popping. All right, you gonna see all my different colors in all the videos coming up. So make sure you just uh, check out my description box for the code, okay? Also, quick shout out before we get into the video. I did give away a free personal reading last week. Shout out to the winner. Um, all you guys had to do was leave a comment on my video and I went through the comments and randomly chose a winner. So this week, you guys, all you have to do is go to my other channel, Everyday Intuition. The link will be below and you have to leave me a comment over on my other channel. Now, quick quick little uh, tidbit if you really want to win a personal this is the time to do it because it's not a lot of, of comments over there on my other channel so so the odds of y'all winning over there is very high very very high okay so go ahead and check out um everyday intuition you guys the link will be below okay so finally finally let's get into pisces reading i'm gonna start us off with the britney color um lovely lady oracles deck to get some major arconic energy for Pisces watching at this time. What do we got? We have the Empress. We have the Empress. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So for one, you're looking, you're looking very attractive here, Pisces. Okay, you're looking very attractive. And um, I'm feeling like, oh, I just love the orange. This is literally my favorite color here, this orange. And then we see the, the wheat grass and stuff like this. I'm feeling like Pisces right now, you could be, you could be making yourself over. All right. I don't know if some of y'all want to change your hair, change your outfits, change your looks, get rid of your old clothes, get some new clothes, start wearing makeup or doing something. It's something very different you're about to step into doing. It's like a switch up of your routine, your style. Some of y'all are getting certain haircuts. You know, just going with a whole new look. You're kind of up leveling your look. You're switching it up. Okay. Um, it's a new you being born or created. All right. There's a there's a birth of something happening here. It's honestly like she's coming. Like you see how the the wheat. I think this is like wheat. Yeah, I want to say this is like wheatgrass or whatever. So the wheatgrass is growing and she's just standing firm in the middle. It's kind of like she was planted there. Like she finally bloomed. Like she finally grew into that wheat field, you know. It's, it's, it's very strong energy. It's standing your ground type of energy too. So Pisces, you guys could be standing your ground on something in particular. Okay, we're going to dig into it just a little bit more. But this is our major arconic energy just to start us off, okay? So I'm going to, let's get some tarot here. What's going on? I want to fix the lighting real quick, y'all. Okay. All right, so what's going on with this Pisces energy here? What is this? What is this Pisces Empress energy here? Some of you guys mm, could be birthing, could be bringing in children. All right, or considered someone's looking at you as a mother material. All right. What's this Empress energy here for Pisces watching? Got the Ace of Swords. All right, so 
This goes along with the fresh new energy I was talking about. Okay, this could be a new idea, a new spark, something that comes to you. All right, let's see. What's this Ace of Swords? Could be somebody wanting to have a conversation with you also. What's this Ace of Swords for Pisces with the Empress here? We got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so you could be switching directions. Pisces, you could have lost interest for one person or one area and you quickly have a new idea or a new opportunity in a different area all right also i'm getting that some of you guys are turning down passion temptation things that don't really serve you you're turning that down um, and being very logical at this time okay you're deciding to move towards what makes sense and move away from oh i'm doing this because i'm passionate or i'm doing it because you know i'm tempted like you're not feeding into anything that's irresponsible at this time all right you're standing firm in your decisions here and rejecting i think yeah bottom of the deck ten of wands in the reverse so definitely rejecting things that um are, are a burden on you leaving you feeling like some sort of burden why this Ace of Wands in the reverse? Oh, I saw Five of Swords, conflict. So conflict could have led to an end of um, some sort of passionate situation or a passion project. Is the end of something. Could have been definitely to an end of a sexual situation. We got Five of Pentacles, yeah. You ended something that could have been a fling or something very sexual, very passionate, very intense here. Uh, something was ended, all right? And Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold here. All right, financially, Pisces, you could be dealing with a, a loss of income. Some of y'all are definitely thinking about quitting a job or maybe y'all have lost a job or lost some sort of money deal, partnership endorsement, something. There's some sort of money that is depleting from you right now. Why, why all of these pinnacles in the reverse for Pisces? I feel like some of you guys are also leaving. Like your independence is being threatened in some way. And we got Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a new opportunity. You could be leaving, uh, walking away from one opportunity uh, just to move forth in a new direction. All right. With the new opportunity is what I feel. Because it's something bigger, something better. This Ten of Wands just wants to come out. So yeah, if you were at a job for like a long period of time or dealing in like a long-term relationship that just seems to be more of a burden than anything, something you could have been holding on to very tightly, I think you're releasing it because the burden is just too much. Or you could have other opportunities elsewhere. All right, these other opportunities seem to be more promising. It seems like you'll be getting more for you know your value. If somebody wasn't holding you in a high value i think now you will be held in that value all right somebody sees you as more important than before or if you were moving to like a new job they they're going to see you as worth more than your old job all right it's something about recognizing your worth here recognizing the lack in a situation and leaving it okay ace of swords here so definitely cutting things out even if there is passionate energy, even if there is something here that like was hard to do, it was what was best for you because the burden was too much to continue. Yeah, page of wands in reverse. So it could be bad news or somebody feels like you are rejecting advances. So it's like it's a bad news for this per situation or this person feels like it's bad. Um, Y'all, I don't know if we in retrograde or what, but I've been stumbling over my words for like, the last four days, for sure, in, in meetings, talking to my friends, my family, just, just stumbling over words, okay? So please excuse me. Um, but yeah, you're, you're, anything that was built on sex, Pisces, or like I said, no substance, no value, um, all show, but no security, you, you're cutting it out. You cut it out. All right, Page of Wands in the reverse, Ten of Wands in the reverse, Ace of Wands in the reverse. All this fire energy in the reverse. Okay, if anyone was dealing with a fire sign, you're definitely, you know, blocking that person out. 
I feel like some of you guys could also be just moving more logically, moving more like a boss would do or like an empire, uh, like a, a person who needs a person who has an empire to run. You know what I'm saying? You're making logical decisions here, cutting things out that just don't make sense. It's not time to be irrational. It's not time to be just, you know, running off of emotions. OK, matter of fact, I don't really see any emotions here. You're being very logical. Your mind is on your money and your money's on your mind for the most part. And you're trying to make more than what you have been making. OK, somebody just put an end to something here that was purely sex. I can't get that out of my mind. And somebody's very upset about it. Could have been a younger person, somebody that you thought you would have had a kid with or something. Yeah, nine of cups here. Pisces, you're you're. You're worried about self-fulfillment, all right? You're worried about getting the lifestyle that you deserve. Luxury is on a lot of y'all minds. You want to feel comfort in your own home, your own surroundings. And you want to be self-sufficient, okay? You don't want to be dependent. And somebody can't believe here that, like, you are able to cut a cord so easily, all right. Even if that means that you're threatening your own independence financially. So you could have been walking away from somebody's like money or the promise of money or something like that. You definitely just turned your back on it uh, because maybe you knew that there was a better offer out there, something that you could fulfill for yourself. All right. Some somebody out there, if you guys have had like a, um, a issue with fertility or getting pregnant, I feel like you will be a mother in some way, shape, or form with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. But with the Page of Wands in the verse, it could have been a situation where you thought you were pregnant or thought you were going to have a baby or whatever happened there medically. It just, the baby didn't happen. But with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like it's going to happen at the right time. Maybe at a time when you're more stable, emotionally and financially stable. OK, yeah. Bottom of the deck's Ace of Cups. So also at a time where like it's based on a pure love here. Look, somebody is worried about this Ace of Cups. You see this? Look at this. Wow, Pisces. Do you see this? This Nine of Swords had to pop out. Somebody feels really guilty. Maybe recognizing the love connection was more pure than they thought. OK, but somebody is definitely mentally. Uh just wrapped up in some sort of love situation here maybe just keep thinking about the opportunity of a new love what's the advice here for pisces wow pisces if you've if you have moved forward do you see what putting yourself first gets you you go from the nine of cups to the ten of cups after a transition after leaving behind something that you know was not good for you you literally move yourself into a new position, okay? By not believing the small offer that you were offered on the table, you left that offer on the table and you moved forward in hopes of finding your Ten of Cups, all right? Whether this be in business, work, love, family, you know what it is for you, but you had to move forward because somebody or something wasn't offering you enough, all right? And this could have been a tough decision, um, where you have to like right now focus on yourself and doing enough for yourself. But what you need to know is by you making this move and, and, and really put in focus and energy and making yourself better and more um, self-sufficient, you just put yourself in a position to have ultimate fulfillment on every level where you don't have to just rely on yourself. You will have a partner. You will. You will have somebody you can depend on, a family as well. All right ownership land this is complete emotional fulfillment after leaving a turbulent situation okay so just know that if you guys have made a tough decision or this is something that's lingering in your energy it will be the right decision to make all right because ultimately you're going to get your ten of cups 
okay i will dig into this a bit more in the extended we can dig into this ten of cups a bit more what's actually going on with this ten of cups where's the ten of cups coming from Who, who's it coming from what what's going on okay we're going to dig into a little bit the extended will be below if you guys want to enter to win a free personal reading this week go to my other channel everyday intuition leave me a comment over there okay and please don't forget to check out nail reserves uh beautiful vegan polishes my link is below for 50 percent off okay i'll talk to y'all later Bye.